Yo, what is up guys, Darshi back again with our few guys, but before we get into this video, if you guys are going to make sure to subscribe to the channel, really, really mean a lot to you, we're on the road to 150 subs, y'all, um, leave this video like, comment down below what, what things hang on to, and also share this with you with your friends, because why not, but in today's video, y'all, we're going to be talking about kind of like a heated debate, y'all, hold on, fix the camera, all right, we're, we're, we are going to be talking about a heated debate, well, not heated debate, but this is a pretty big debate that people have been you know talking about who's better at full strength the lakers or the nets um that's gonna be the topic of today's video and and if i'm not mistaken the lakers nets game wrapped up two days ago um yes it did it wrapped up on thursday so that's and i'm and i'm recording this on saturday february 20th and uh you know, the Heat Lakers is uh, today. Hopefully, we can win on ABC Saturday primetime. Hopefully, but that's, that's not the topic. Um, So, as we know that the Nets won against the Lakers. The Nets were without um Kevin Durant with a hamstring injury, I'm pretty sure. And then, we all know Anthony Davis was out um, due to his uh, Achilles, I think. Yeah. So... None of these teams were at full power, but the Nets did have the advantage because they still had James Harden and Kyrie Irving, and they won the game 109-98. to And basically, what I what I really bought from this video is that the Nets, if, if they can actually work as a group and not just be selfish, not be like, nah, you know what, you do it, you take it, I'm not going to be doing anything. If they become selfish... They're going to lose. You might be wondering, Darsh, I mean, if you be selfish, I mean, every single team is going to lose. No, no, because the Rockets, it was all James Harden, you know? So I feel like that if the Nets don't be selfish and they actually work as a whole group, they'll be good. And here's what I mean by working as a whole group. Timothy Luola Cabrero played 27 minutes, two rebounds, three assists with a total of 15 points. 15 points. I don't think we've seen that. I think that's his career high for the season. I'm not too sure. But he was hitting threes on threes on threes. And I think those 15 points were all threes, right? I think it went five for something from three-point range. Yeah. Wow. He went he went five for eight on, on a three-point shot. So all of his shots were three-pointers, man. Um. Oh, born on May 9th. Yo, that's lit. Okay. Um. Oh my God, I just closed out. So, as, so, so as I was saying, Timothy Luola Cabrero had a really, really good game, and he was just hitting threes on threes on threes because the ball was getting shared. Another example: Joe Harris at twenty-one points. Not, not very surprising, but kind of, you know, kind of. Um, Jeff Green. Only at five points, which is kind of surprising. Harden twenty three, Irving sixteen. But really, the, the 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 really the really shocking part about this was Timothy Luwala Cabrero and Landry Shamit. He also had ten points, played nineteen minutes. Um, that was so. I feel I feel like if they play if they play together as a group and they can figure themselves out on defense, they will be great. On the other hand, the Los Angeles Lakers. We know that the, that they're without AD. And I feel like, and I feel like, when they don't have AD, they lose their confidence in a way. But with 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 uh, AD out, um, I feel I feel like the Lakers lose their confidence, but they still have that you know uh, they still have that fiery power in them because LeBron is still there with them, and they know that they can do anything with LeBron because you you know what I'm talking about. So uh, LeBron had 32 points in 33 minutes of play. And here's the problem. There were not many players. First of all, their defense was not that great. D defense was not that great. Um, if, we, if we just go by quarter right here real quick, 31 to 24, Nets won the first quarter. 33 to 29, Nets won the second quarter. Um, 26 to 21, Nets won that quarter. And the Lakers won the fourth quarter, twenty nine, no, twenty four to nineteen. 
did, did I say Lakers won the first quarter? Because I don't, I don't know. But the Nets won the first quarter, the 31 to 24. And really, the issue here that I, that I see is that there were not many people scoring. Like if you go to Kyle Kuzma, he had 16 points and 34 minutes of play. He had 10 rebounds. That's good. Those are Kyle Kuzma numbers. Uh, LeBron had 32 and 33 minutes of play. We all know what he does. 8, 7, 32. Come on. And then Marcus Hall, he puts up average numbers. But Kyle Pope seemed odd in that game. He didn't seem like himself. He only had nine points and, and 29 minutes of play. One rebound, one assist. Didn't really have much contribution. Um, we'll see Matthews. Only two points. THT. Nine points, which is pretty good. Caruso, man, only two points. Harold, ten points. Come on, man. Cook, seven points, which is pretty surprising. McKinney, McKinney, only three points. So, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they, they could not get the basket, the hoop. But going back to the original question, who is better at full strength, the Lakers or the Nets? I'm going to have to go with the Lakers, bro. I'm going to have to say the Lakers. They've won a championship. They've won a championship last year. And why I'm saying this is because we haven't seen much of the of of this whole Nets team yet, you know. We're we are only um we we are only uh, I would say like 32 33 games into the season, you know what I'm saying? So, we still haven't seen this whole team being together for a whole year. We've seen this from LA. We know that this team can do well. Even though they picked up Montrez Harrell, which is an awesome addition. We know that they picked up Wesley Matthews, another awesome addition. We know we know that they picked up uh Marcus Saul, another great addition. And we know that they picked up Dennis Schroeder, another great addition. But the Lakers have so much. Like they have they have playmakers, they have defense, they have shooters, they they have it. They have rebounders. The, they have it. On the other hand, on the Nets side, they have shooters, not much defense at all, really. And I'm surprised that the Lakers only scored 98 points. They were cold, man. They were cold. Don't have much defense. Not much depth either. All they really have is shooting. And, and, and also playmaking because Kyrie's there. So you know what I'm saying, and plus, and and also we just like haven't seen a whole year for this whole Nets team, um, as as a whole team we haven't seen, um, this whole Nets team in the playoffs with Kyrie Durant and James Harden because obviously it's the first season together. So at this point, I'm saying the LA Lakers, but this could change, um, as as the season um progresses and maybe I mean. Both the teams, I guess, are going to make... I mean, the Lakers are going to make it to the playoffs. Nets also going to make the playoffs. I'm, at least I hope so, unless they fall off. I don't think so. Um, so, so I, 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 really, I really feel like that um, as the season progresses and when these two teams hit the playoffs, can they make it to the finals? I mean, that's not going to happen because the Heat are going to get there, but... <laughs> Um, but no, nah, seriously, but the heat go heat. Um, but the Brooklyn Nets, if they can make it to the playoffs, I mean, they will, but if they can make it to the finals, can they, can they defeat the Lakers in a, in a, in a seven game series? Cause you know, bro, LeBron is a monster. AD is a monster. And I'm not saying that James Harden, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are not monsters. I'm just saying that the, we haven't seen much experience from these two teams so far. So yeah, I'm going with the Lakers on the side. Let me know in the comment section what you guys what you guys think. Um, but yeah, that's basically going to wrap up for the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, stay safe, be positive. But until then, Dorsh TV out. Peace.